Hi, I'm Joe Haley. You're watching The Joe Show. What's up, Canada? Uh, before we get started, let me be the first to um, say to you, Happy Thanksgiving. I know you have a long weekend coming up, and Monday will be your Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving to you. Um, hope you enjoy your time off and the time you spend with family and friends. All right, I am coming to you from my dining room. What an appropriate place to be when we're talking about Thanksgiving from my dining room in the beautiful North Hills, Pennsylvania, just outside of the city limits of Philadelphia in the great state of Pennsylvania. Joining me today, she's in Levittown, PA. She's a little further away is Melissa Newman. Melissa handles our social media. She will be joining us and she will be putting all the supplier uh, ASI numbers, product numbers when they are available and the products in the comment section. You can use the comment section as well. If you want to ask questions, leave comments, please use that comment section and um, we will be happy to respond to any of those questions. If you're watching this in the archive version, you're not watching it live, then you can still put questions in there. We go back, we monitor that and we see questions. We will surely um, respond to you. And if you want to just send me an email, any questions on any products, uh, you can send that to jhaley at asicentral.com. And in the subject line, just put ASI uh, Joe Show Canada and today's date, which is October 7th. Okay, so today's title was Fall slash Fall and Winter Gifts and PPE. So as we get later in the year here, we get closer to the end of the year, we've got gift giving season. And it doesn't necessarily mean it's got to be the December holidays, which would mean, hello, Melissa says hi, um, which would be Christmas, uh, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever those holidays people celebrate, want to give gifts for, that would be a time to do it. Also, another appropriate time and a great time to do it would be for, you know, fall promotions. It could be for your Thanksgiving. Um, it could be we come up to Halloween. Um, it could be something mid-November. Those gifts are great because what they do, they don't get m mixed up in the gift-giving shuffle. They kind of stand out. So let's look at some gifts first, then we'll get into PPE. So first thing I wanted to show you is, and I've got a pen here. So we've got these pens come in the gift box. Okay, they come in the gift box, so you have a nice presentation. I've already removed this pen from the box, and you're going to see that that pen actual the branding on the pen matches the gift box i'm going to show you one inside the box so here's another one urban med very nice branding there and when we open it up you're going to see there is branding that matches I'll put the box back up you see the urban med you can't see because of the the ribbon in there but it matches nice presentation nice gift if you have any clients that are using pens and promotions and are looking for something new and different or they want to take it up a notch presentation box is going to be perfect what i also like about the presentation box is that when someone is given that pen they're going to know that no one else has touched it okay it hasn't been through a lot of different hands so that could be at a doctor's office that could be the bank where you have to sign information that could be at a restaurant where you are actually signing a receipt um, with this with the box you give them the box the presentation is there the pens inside the functionality is there and it's going to ensure that no one else has touched it which is important in this time of covid all right, this next product, we'll show you another again. We got presentation box here. You see Fossil, and yes, um, this is something from Fossil, not a watch. But inside, we have a wallet, and this is actually a trifold wallet. We take it out of the packaging here, and you're going to see you got the two toned leather on there. This has got the Deboss Fossil logo. This wallet can take a Deboss logo. We open it up, trifold, so we have spot there for our uh, identification then we have some other pockets there we could put our credit cards and the like and of course and since it's a, a, a trifold wallet we have spot for our money nice gift for the holidays uh, any type of leather gift is going to be appreciated this really smells very nice and i think it would be appreciated and again when it comes with the custom packaging it really goes a long way it's actually saying thank you we appreciate you what what you do for us and um we're going to give you something nice all right, so this is a hardbound journal. It's a leather-like journal. You can see you got a nice debossed logo there. Um, this is a classic, almost like a vintage look of the journal. I'm going to open it up. You'll see those pages. Yes, that's like a weathered yellow look. If you're a fan of old magazines and old books, as I am, um, I love graphics inside there. I love the way things are written. 
Um, I love the smell of them. Uh, this kind of mimics that. Those pages get a little yellow after time. So beautiful uh, pages on the inside. Um, and you're going to see we've got that beautiful DeVos, uh, DeVos logo, as I said. You've got the spine here that's got that, that like gold foil on that. Almost looks like those classic books that you see up on bookshelves. And, of course, I'll show you right here. It does has the, the uh, ribbon page mark so I can mark my pages. Awesome for employees who are working from home. Okay, so it's a nice gift for them. We need notebooks and such to take notes for meetings. We have meetings. I have three different notebooks that I uh, use depending on what the meeting is for. Um, it's also great for journaling as well. It's an opportunity for stay-at-home, work-from-home employees to journal about their experience, journal what's going on th uh, through pandemic, and save those journals, and then look at them uh, later on. And it makes a nice gift as well for uh, any of your uh, vendors or clients. <clears throat> We're starting to get cool here, at least in my part of the world. Uh, today is about 75, which is nice. No humidity. Uh, tomorrow is going to be into the 60s, which I love. I love I love what I call hoodie and shorts weather. If it's cool enough, I can wear a hoodie, but I'm still okay with shorts on. I love that. But as we get cooler, we know that we're going to need to bundle up. And I want to show you some scarves here. Now, scarves are just not for bundling up in the cold weather. While they're perfect for that, they're perfect for anyone who works in the outdoors. Um, it could be someone at a ski resort. It could be someone who parks cars, okay? Um, a valet. Um, it could be red cap at a hotel. Um, anyone who works outside a scarf would be nice, but they're also good for sports organizations as well. One, it shows affiliation with an organization, uh, supporters clubs. Um, I know that most of the MLS teams, that's Major League Soccer here. I know there's teams in Montreal, Vancouver, and Toronto. They all have supporter clubs. Um, here in the Philadelphia area, our supporter club for the Philadelphia Union is the Sons of Ben. You're a member of the Sons of Ben every year. You get a new scarf. So they're great for that. Soccer fans love their supporter scarves. They're going to wear them to games. Even here, it's July. It could be 95 degrees out. And you're going to see guys at the stadium with three or four of their scarves on. Great for that. But it's going to also be good for those winter sports. Uh, it's cold inside those, you know, hockey rinks. Um, my uh, niece uh, played hockey for many, many years. She's still playing hockey. But when we go see her, you can go there in September. It's beautiful outside, but it's cold in those ranks. So it's great for that as well. So I'm going to show you a bunch of different ones. So this first one is the sleek print. And you're going to see that this has very nice uh, coloration on this. And we've got the white on one side. On the next side, I wish I could show you the whole thing. Because, I got upside down. Because it is beautiful. Okay, so we've got white on the one side, dark on the other side. Uh, this is a dye sub. Um, so it's really going to have nice color. And on the end here, it has the fringe. We've got the classic knit. And you're going to see with this one. You've got logos and such that are actually knitted into the scarf itself. And then if I open this up, it's going to have the name Dalton. So that is the school or the club. And on the back, it says Red Wolves. And you've got that striped uh, pattern, which I am really a big fan of. Now we have the Premier Knit. And again, we've got logos and such knitted into... We are champ. We are chapping. That is the school. And then we've got on the other side. We've just got that striped look. So it's got a classic look. There's going to keep anyone warm when they wear them. This is the champion scarf. Uh, very nice. The quality is getting a little thicker now. If I open this up, let, well, let's show the, the end pattern there. Uh, we've got that nice pattern there. Open it up, and we've got. I guess it would be like almost like a heron pone type pattern. And on the other side, if we flip this over for you. It says Commonwealth, okay? Commonwealth, and I think it says McCain on it. So, again, very nice. This one's my favorite. I really, really like the look of this one. This is the HD Woven, okay? So, it's a little thicker or, or wider. Um, I love the way that that crest looks on there. And when you open it up, you're going to see how easy it is to read that message on there, okay? If I can get this all the way open holding it the wrong way um it says uh, together in peace we love our community uh, or together in peace love in a beloved community okay martin luther king jr so very nice so whatever the client's needs are there's going to be a scarf that fits that need whether it's on that die sub, the very slick one, or whether it's one of the knitted ones. All right, let's get to some PPEs. Now, why do we put PPEs in here with holiday gifts? Well, they can be used as gifts as well. They can use gifts for stay-at-home employees. Um, it, it can be gifts for employees who are going 
you know, to and from work. And PPEs are still with us. It's still important as we still manage our way through this pandemic that we take care of ourselves. So I'm going to show you some, some uh, first we're going to start with some touch tools. And Melissa, I hate to do this to you again, but um, there are four different touch tools. And I'll mention them by name and we'll have the right uh, product number for it. So the first one is the touch tool. So you're going to see this. We've got the branding there on the touch tool and how this would work. I can hold this. And with this, I can press elevator buttons. Okay. Anything that is not digital in purpose, it's just like an analog type button. I can use this. With this part, I can open door handles. Okay. I can pull doors towards me. Um, I can carry bags with it that someone else has touched. And it's got the branding there. And I can keep it in my pocket. It doesn't take up too much uh, room. The next one is the touch screen tool. So this is the touch screen tool. So again, we see this. We have nice area for branding, the fresh market. I mean, it really looks nice, easy to read. And you'll see the black on the outside. That is actually some conductive tape that will allow me to now use my stylus on the end here. Now I can use those digitals. I can use this on my phone. It uses on my tablet. If there's a touch screen in any type of deli or any type of retail establishment that yet you, you use to order things, you can use it with this because there is the conductivity in there. And it has the same other functionalities to it. I can hold it from here, pick up my bags, open my doors with that. The next one is the Touch Tool Pro. Okay, the Touch Tool Pro. So again, we've got brand in here. This is made out of brass, and brass by its nature is antimicrobial. So, you know, microbes cannot grow on this or will not grow on this. So we've got a nice laser etch or laser uh, printed uh, logo on there. And again, we've got the hook we can use that for, and now we've got the stylus on this as well. So I can use my touch pads, my touch screens, my tablet, and everything. And very nice thing, always have like this loop that I can hold it for. But the other thing I can do with this is that I can attach a slick key ring on here, and I can attach my keys to it, okay? So when I'm out, I drive and I go on my errands. I'm going to have my keys with me, put it to my, my touch screen tool, touch tool plus a uh, pro uh, whatever it is always gonna have it with us one more here so this is the touch screen tool and this one actually has a little you call it like like if you have a sword would you put that in the scabbard or the sheath whatever it is so this is a little cover for it so again we, we have nice branding on the front of this I can put a split key ring here I can put it on this side if I want but I pull it out of it goes in there very nice I pull it out can't touch that right so this is nice so this is We've got the white with the pink uh, branding on this. So this one now has pink on the one side, it ties in, and on the other side, it's white. So this is just like the touchscreen tool in the sense that we've got that tape there that gives us the conductivity, and then I can use my touchscreens, I can use the bags, the doors, everything I need to do. And when I'm done, at the end of the day, put it back in its little case, and we're good to go. All right, now I've got some products I want to show you. More P PPEs. First two I'm going to show you. This is four ounce hand sanitizer. All right. This is made here in the States. Uh, what I like about this is the chunky size of the bottle. Okay. It really has some feel to it. Okay. Um, and just like any hand sanitizer, put it on and rub it in. This one's nice. It doesn't have that. Some hand sanitizers don't have a nice smell. This has a nice smell to it. Um, and this is a. Uh, 80% alcohol, so we know it's going to do the job. We know that we still need hand sanitizers no matter where we go. Everyone should have one in their car, a bottle, whether it's the spray, whether it is more of the gel. You need hand sanitizers with you at all times. You're going out, you're running your errands, and the important thing about hand sanitizer in your car is that you've got to put your mask on when you go out and you're out and about. You get back into your car. You should really sanitize your hands first before you take the mask off. Okay, so that's why everyone needs it in the car. So it makes a great leave behind. Anyone in the automotive industry, new car sales, it should be in there. It should be in the glove compartment, the center console. Uh, car detailers, detail that car, leave one of these in the glove compartment, the center console. Um, you're selling used cars. Uh, machine shops mechanics they can all use this so hand sanitizers has a lot of different uses there's a couple i just want to use all right so this first one i show this case and on the front here it says child resisting case and i sometimes i think i'm a child because the first time i opened this i struggled so inside what we have is we have one of those no touch thermometers and you'll see the branding is there so the brand is available it's just not 
uh, selling a, a thermometer. So on the bottom, when I turn this on, it's going to get ready to go. So now I can take my temperature. I'm just going to, you see it read zero. I'm just going to point it at my head about an inch away. And there it is, 37.1 Celsius. Uh, I think that's about 97 point something uh, Fahrenheit. So I do not have fever. Important for a lot of different industries, a lot of different markets. You've got people coming into a restaurant, take their temperature. You've got uh, kids coming into school, take their temperature. You've got com uh, employees coming into work, take their temperature. Right now, our local soccer club, the soccer club I'm affiliated with, there is a huge list of protocols for um, teams, leagues, um, townships and stuff, and they have to follow all of them. One of them that's consistent throughout is that when players come to practices and when players training sessions and when players come to games, their temperature must be taken. And we have to have an, a, a sheet, um, like almost like an attendance sheet, with all the information on there and the temperature as well. So this is great for, for those clubs. Coach can pull it out, bang, bang, all the kids get their temperature taken, and um, you're good to go. Fits nice back in its case, and after about a minute of non-use, it will shut down. All right, I'm going to show you this next one here. This is pretty cool. So, again, you can see that we have our branding there, and that is actually the top of this unit. So, in, in here, this is where I'm going to put in some uh, hand sanitizer. So, I filled this with some hand sanitizer. This has already been charged, so I can put it uh, on a charger, or I can charge the unit itself. So, I turn it on. You'll see we have a blue light, and check this out. Right there. Put my hands over that. Got my hand sanitizer. Okay, I want to get another shot of it. Can you see it coming up? There you go. Coming up like that. I walk into a place. I want to do it with my phone. I'm good to go. Okay, so this is pretty cool. One, it's portable. So I, I don't have to make sure I have electric out, outlet nearby. I just uh, just took a taste of that. Um, so I can charge it. It's good to go. It's great for any kids coming into school. Don't forget to hit the hand sanitizer. All right, the people in their homes, they have guests coming over. Don't forget to hit the hand sanitizer. You don't have to pick up a bottle, squirt your hands. You're just going to come over. Let's see, you can see that again. Enough, I get all that in there. And again, it's great for my car keys, my touch tool. I've been using my touch tool. Let me bring that back right there, right on that. I'm going to get sanitized all up. Okay, and finally, the last product on today's Joe Show. Good piece of PPE. Also makes a great gift for people becoming very popular right now so there's your branding idea there or your brand it says buck ideas um so you have branding on this open this up so this is a uv sanitizer and you're going to see those little those little nubs there those are actually raised so when i put something like my cell phone inside it's not going to be flat on there so it's raised so all the sanitation is going to happen so i just if you saw that got my cell phone to put it inside I close it. It uses UV lights. Disinfection process. Okay, there we go. So it's it's now disinfecting this. Um, on this side, this button says incense. So if I want to actually give some aromatherapy with this as well, I push that. Aromatherapy in process. The aromatherapy is in process now. So it's doing aromatherapy and it's actually doing the uh, sanitizer. That 25%. It'll take 10 minutes to sanitize the phone. Not just the phones. Anything. Car keys in there. My jewelry in there. My watch in there. Anything small that fits in there, I can sanitize. So I think of that as a great gift um, for employees, for vendors, for clients, for yourself. All right. That is all the products. Those are all the products we had for today on today's Joe Show. Um, again, if you had any questions, put them in. I will check. Look at my mouse here. I'll check the, the area now. Uh, I've got nothing, nothing, nothing. No questions. So if you're watching this in the archive version, you have a question, you can put it in there. Or you can always send me an email to jhaley at asicentral.com. If there's a question on a product that you saw on this show, just reference the show, Joe Show Canada, and today's date, 10-7. And I promise to get back to you within 24 hours of uh, receiving that email. All right, that's it. Uh, one more time, I'd like to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy your extended uh, weekend. And if you're watching this in archive version, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving and you enjoyed that extended holiday. So uh, I wish you that from me, Melissa, and everyone at the Joe Show uh, staff. We all 
like to say happy Thanksgiving. And again, and that's all. We'll see you next time.